Hello guys and welcome back. So now before working any further on the player controller what we're gonna do now is to work on our camera because right now the camera is not following the player and as you can see it uh, looks really messed up. So what we're gonna do now is to work on our camera controller. Okay, so this is our main camera right here. What we're gonna do is in this main camera right click on it and then create empty parent for it okay then click on the main camera again and create another empty parent for it okay so now it has two parents and just make sure that they are all in the same position as you can see select the first parent name it as camera manager select the second one name it as camera pivot okay once you do that then if I show you the player controls in here as you can see the camera movement is already set up okay it is set to the mouse so now we just need to read values from it and we have the camera right here as well okay so first of all let's create a script for the camera name it as camera manager then after this click on camera manager drag and drop it and open it up then first of all we need to read the inputs so for that in the input manager script right here we will create a private vector 2 name it as camera input okay then create two public float one by the name of camera input x then camera input y and to read the value from the mouse what we're gonna do we're gonna say player control start player movement dot camera movement dot performed plus equals to i equals to greater than camera input equals to i dot read value vector 2 okay then in the handle movement input what we're gonna do is just as we separate the vertical and horizontal input of the movement we're gonna do the same for the camera so camera input x will be equals to camera input dot x and camera input y will be equals to camera input dot y all right if we save the script and get back right here click on the player now as you can see when we move the mouse on the screen as you can see camera input x and y are reading the values from the mouse okay now let's work on our camera manager so open up the script at the top we need three references first to the input manager script second to the player transform and third to the camera pivot game object then after this you can go ahead and create a private vector 3 by the name of camera follow velocity which will be equals to velocity uh, vector 3 dot 0 then create a header by the name of camera movement and rotation and inside this header we need few variables okay and that variables should be these so the first one will be public float by the name of camera follow speed which will be zero then the second one will be a float as well which will be the camera look speed then the camera pivot speed then another two floats by the name of look angle and pivot angle and then the last one will be the minimum pivot angle and maximum pivot angle okay and set it to minus 30 and 30 then in the awake we're gonna set up the reference for the player transform so as you know that this uh, camera manager script is not attached to the player but when we will be adding networking okay when we will be adding that multiple player 
functionality to our game then we will move our camera inside the player main parent game object okay but for now since it is uh, outside the player so in order to set the reference for the player transform we need to type player transform equals to find object of type player manager okay we are targeting the player manager so whatever game object in the hierarchy has a player manager script then we will say that that is the player so we say that dot transform okay and also we want to lock the cursor because we don't want the cursor to be shown on the screen or move around okay so you can lock the cursor in like this then let's create a method by the name of follow target and in here we will create a vector 3 by the name of target position which will be equals to vector 3 dot smooth temp we will pass the transform dot position then the player transform dot position then we will um, call the camera follow velocity right here and the camera follow speed okay and after that we will say transform dot position equals to the target position okay so let me explain what we are doing in this follow target method is right here we are just simply and smoothly follow the player position using smooth damp to avoid a bird camera movement okay and once we follow the player now we also need to rotate the camera around the player as well so that we can see in the environment what is happening so for that create another method by the name of rotate camera and in this one first of all we're going to create a vector 3 by the name of rotation then a quaternion by the name of target rotation and now after this uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say look angle equals to look angle plus input manager dot camera input x multiply that by the camera follow uh, camera look speed all right so this is the horizontal camera rotation which is from the left to right updated by the player input okay then after this we will say pivot angle equals to pivot angle minus input manager dot camera input y multiply that by the camera look speed okay then the pivot angle will be equals to math f dot clamp then pivot angle pass the minimum pivot angle and the maximum pivot angle right so what we are doing in these two line is this is basically the vertical camera pivot which is the up and down and this is updated by the player input and clamp between the minimum and maximum pivot angles okay so that the camera doesn't move inside the ground okay that's why we are clamping it now after this we will say rotation equals to vector 3.0 then rotation dot y equals to look angle then target rotation equals to quaternion dot jeweler
pass the rotation in there and then we will say transform dot rotation equals to the target rotation so right here we do the horizontal rotation around the y axis and then right here we apply the horizontal rotation to the camera's transform okay then after this we will say rotation equals to vector 3 dot 0 then rotation dot x equals to the pivot angle oops then the target rotation will be equals to quartronian dot euler pass rotation and then camera pivot dot local rotation equals to the target rotation so right here we do the vertical pivot rotation which is the camera looking up and down and then right here we apply the vertical pivot rotation to the camera pivot point okay so that is all we have to do right here now what we're gonna do is right above the follow target method create a public void by name of handle all camera movement okay and in this just simply call the follow target method and the rotate camera method then on the player manager right here make a reference to the camera manager script name it as camera manager then in the update right here type camera manager dot handle all camera movement and that is it okay let's check the camera manager script line 56 okay we forgot to add semicolon right there and also on the 60 line as well and also make sure that you spell this correctly quartronian dot Euler rotation and also right here make sure to make this week capital in here let's drag and drop the camera manager script so drag and drop the camera manager in there then click on camera manager the player transform will be added automatically just drag and drop the player in there so it will select the input manager script by default and then drag and drop the camera pivot right there that is all we have to do okay now if we play the game you will notice that the camera will be in the player feeds or somewhere else as you can see it is in the player feeds so now we need to set up the pivot so actually click on camera pivot and okay leave this as zero make the y as 1.3 make the z as let's just say two and let's test it out okay this is our camera now as you can see the player also move to where the camera is pointing okay and also the player can rotate as well as you can see the player can run okay we can set up this camera even more for example make the position x of the camera pivot as 0.2 and make the y as 0.99 let me check it okay it is now really up in the sky make it 1.7 for example okay and make this as 0. Point, let's just say 4 okay so you can set this according to your own liking let me keep this as minus 2 okay and 
make this as three and this as five okay i think this is a good view okay so now uh, once you set the camera pivot then before closing the game make sure that you copy this whole component the transform of the camera pivot close the game click on camera pivot and paste it again okay and once you do that then you can just select the player and start the game again okay and you will notice that the player and the camera and everything is set up okay if you want you can now increase or decrease the movement speed as well I think the uh, moving speed is good but the sprinting speed is a little bit slow so we can now make it 4 and I think 4 is a good value for this okay for now as you can see we are unable to walk on top of that and we can also not jump so in the next video we will be adding that things as well okay for now as you can see everything works perfectly fine now so close the game make this printing speed 4 that's it and see you guys in the next one